Hello again. I will give additional lessons today, but before that, kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. So today, I will discuss the part 2 in solving the quadratic equations by factoring. Okay, let us now have solving quadratic equations by factoring. Again, remember the standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. We have to give an example x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. Kung mapapansin nyo ang ating given quadratic equation ay naka standard form na wherein x squared represents the ax squared, positive 7x is for the bx, positive 12 is for the letter c which is the constant. So, let us now proceed in solving this given quadratic equation by factory. Okay, the first step is to bring down the first term and the constant term. So, let us bring down x squared and positive 12. Now, we have to expand positive 7x or kailangan natin siyang i-divide sa dalawa. So, paano yon? Ang gagawin natin, we have to find the factors of 12 or yung constant. Okay, let us now find the factors of 12. 12 divided by 1 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, ang sign ng 7x dito is positive at ang sign ng constant ay positive. Therefore, ang isang pares dapat o ang dalawang numbers na ating mapipili must be both positive. Okay. Ano yung pares o ano yung dalawang numbers na kapag minultiply ay equal sa 12 at kapag pinag-plus ay equal naman sa 7x or sa 7? Okay, those numbers are 3 and 4. So, let us now write 3 and 4 here at the middle and then let us just add the variable x. So, positive 7x will now become positive 3x and positive 4x. Okay, next, let us now divide this resulting quadratic equation into 2. Ayan. So, let us now find the factors of x12 plus 3x. The common factors of x squared and positive 3x is x. Pareho silang may variable x. So, the common factor is x and then let us now simplify. So, the, the factors of x squared plus 3x is x times the quantity of x plus 3. Let us double check if this is correct. x squared or x times x is x squared. x times positive 3 is positive 3x. Now, let us now find the factors of positive 4x and positive 12. The common factors of 4x and 12 is 4. Because 4 can be divided into 4, and 12 can also be divided into 4. So, the factors of 4x plus 12 is positive 4 times the quantity of x plus 3. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times positive 3 is positive 12. So, this is correct. Okay. As you can see, we have the common factor, which is x plus 3. So, let us now write the common factor below and then let us combine x and plus 4. So, this will become x plus 3 which is the common factor and then x plus 4 which is this one equals to 0. Don't, for, uh, don't forget to write the equal 0. Okay, let us now find the two values of x x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, when we are getting or finding the value of x here, you just have to transpose this positive, uh, positive 3 at the right side of the equation. Ganon din sa positive 4, we have to transpose this into the right side of the equation. So this will now become x sub 1 is equal to negative 3. Because when we are transposing the constant to the other side, the, the sign will change. So, positive 3 will now become negative 3. And then, let us write sub 1 or 1 here so that we will know if 
how many numbers or how many values of x are we going to find. And then, x plus 4 is equal to 0 will now become x sub 2 is equal to negative 4. Again, positive 4 when transposed or when being transposed to the right side of the equation, the sign will be changed. So, positive 4 will now become negative 4. So, the values of x for the quadratic equations x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0 or negative 3 and negative 4. Okay, let's have another example. Remember the standard form? So we have the example 2x squared plus 9x plus 9 is equal to 0. Okay, let us bring down the first term and the last term. So let us bring down 2x squared and positive 9. Next is to find the factors of the product of 2 and 9. So 2 times 9 is 18. So let us find the factors of 18. 18 divided by 1 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. Okay. Anong numbers o ano yung dalawang numbers na kapag minultiply ay 18 at kapag pinag plus ay equal sa 9? So those numbers are 3 and 6. Okay. Let us now write numbers 3 and 6 here at the middle, and then just add the letter x or the variable x. Remember, the sign must be positive. So, this will now become positive 3x and positive 6x. Let us now divide the resulting quadratic equation into 2. So, let us now find the factors of 2x squared plus 3x. The common factors of 2x squared and positive 3x is x. So, the factors of this resulting equation is x times the quantity of 2x plus 3. x times 2x is 2x squared and x times positive 3 is positive 3x. What is the common factors of positive 6x and positive 9? Since positive 6 can be divided by 3 and positive 9 can also be divided by 3 so the common factors of this is 3 so let us now write the factors 3 or positive 3 times the quantity of 2x plus 3 let us double check if the factors is correct 3 times 2x is positive 6x positive 3 times positive 3 is equal to positive 9 as you can see we have the common factor 2x plus 3. And then, we will just combine the letter x and the positive 3. So, this will, this will now become this one. 2x plus 3 and 3x plus 3 equals 0. So, let us rewrite. 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, let us now find the value of x here. x sub 1 is equal to 3 halves. Paano naging 3 halves? Yung positive 3, ita transpose natin, so magiging a uh, negative. And then, yung 2, i-divide natin sila lahat sa 2. Since hindi kayang i-divide ang 3 sa 2, this will now become uh, the denominator. So, x sub 1 is equal to negative 3 halves or negative 3 over 2. Next is the value of this one. So x sub 2 is equal to negative 3. Why? Because we transpose positive 3 to the right side of the equation, so this will now become negative 3. Again, remember, the final answers or the two values of x in this given quadratic equation are negative 3 over 2, and negative 3. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this part 2 of our lesson in solving quadratic equations by factoring first transform the quadratic expression into standard form if necessary. Second, factor the quadratic expression. Third, apply zero product property 
by setting each factor of the quadratic expression equal to 0. Fourth, solve the resulting equation. And the last is to check the values of the variable obtained by substituting each in the original equation. I hope you learned something in this lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all.